Nigeria has saved about 40 million U.S. dollars from expired COVID-19 vaccines. These savings amount to the short shelf life of AstraZeneca vaccines received from donors into the country. The Executive Director, National Primary Healthcare Development Agency, Dr. Fazi Shwaib, made indication at the Goza dumping site in the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja. He said requesting about 40 million U.S. dollars from the federal government to purchase COVID-19 vaccines would have been difficult. Hence, when the donation came, they have to embrace it, knowing that it will save costs irrespective of its shelf life. At the Goza dumping site are over 1 million expired COVID-19 vaccines, which were donated by developed partners. Gathered are officials of the National Agency for Food and Trust Administration, National Emergency Management Agency, World Health Organization, and staff of the National Primary Healthcare Development Agency. The essence is to witness the handover of the vaccines before properly destroying them to avoid human usage. Speaking during the handover, the National Primary Healthcare Development Agency Executive Director, Dr. Fazi Schweib, noted that the whole exercise is built on trust. Hence, they took the decision of destroying the vaccines in order to maintain the high standard of vaccination process in the country. Further demonstrates the high standards that we operate within Nigeria. The work that we do is a work that requires trust. It is the sacred trust that has been bestowed on us by the generality, generality of Nigerians. We hold that trust to be true, and we guard that trust very jealously. This is why today we are destroying these vaccines that have expired. We saved Nigeria over 40 million U.S. dollars. Resources that can be plowed into other areas of the health sector. Months ago, when these vaccines were offered to us, we knew that they had a short shelf life. But we were living in an environment where the supply of COVID-19 vaccines were very scarce. They were not available due to vaccine nationalism. We had developed countries that procured these vaccines and hoarded them in their stores. At the point that they were about to expire, they were offered for donation. While we appreciate the donation from uh, these countries, we have to acknowledge the fact that we are, they were almost expired vaccines. Because we wanted to satisfy and protect Nigerians, we offered to accept these vaccines, worked collaboratively with NAVDAQ to ensure that NAVDAQ also tested and made sure that these vaccines were in good condition. Also, the Director General National Agency for Food and Trust Administration, Professor Moji Adeyeye, stresses that in an effort to ensure the safety of citizens, a decision was reached to achieve the utilization of these vaccines, despite the challenges linked to the short expiration date as at the time of its delivery. Adding that, averting these daunting challenges will require local production of vaccines, thus being optimistic that the agency had already started the process to boost sustainability of vaccines in Nigeria. The vaccines coming with short expiration dating pose a challenge to us as a country. But because of the love of the of country, we decided to work with that tight time span or challenge. So I mentioned that we approved the dosier first. When the vaccines come, nobody uses the vaccines unless NAVDAQ says so. And NAVDAQ saying so is working day and night to ensure that there is quality in the vaccines. We are one of the few agencies in Africa that test our vaccine before use. I told them as we will test our own vaccines before we use. Once we, are, well, once we get them tested, thank God they were of quality, but we needed to prove that they are of quality. A note of lot release. What we mean by lot release is if you have seven batches of a vaccine, you do one by one by one by one and do safety indicating test. 
to ensure that our own people will get vaccines that are of quality, that are potent. So, a letter is sent through my office to the Minister of Health and the Executive Director, Dr. Faison, standing by me, to ensure that the lot certificate has been received by them or will be received by them. This is part of quality control, what we have been doing. And in the regulatory language, we call it market control. The vaccines come to primary health. We test it in the lab. Immediately we come from Lagos to sample. We test it. It's not just testing also. We put it on a big database, a track and trace database that will show us where the vaccines are in the country. Nigeria or NABDAC is the only regulatory agency that is doing that for COVID-19 vaccine. Why? Because we deserve the best. What we are now doing is still quality control. Although it's destruction, but is that the end of the journey for a product? The product gets into the country or is manufactured in the country, it goes through the supply chain and is monitored or tracked and traced through the supply chain and if something happens, we can recall through our track and trace setting. And if it expires, not our fault, NABDAC will receive it. It is our mandate to regulate and control the quality of our regulated products, drugs, and vaccines included. Correspondent Vincent Okushi gathered that the truck of the expired vaccines was laid in the dumping site while a bulldozer was used to smash them into waste bins. <music>